Warm greetings to all my viewers. This is Jacob Samuel. What I wish to share with you this morning is the following thought. Once there lived in the ancient city of Greece a scholar and he had two students who were under his tutelage and they were being trained to become teachers. One was young and the other was old. The older student was very upset with the scholar as the scholar was always showing some sort of fondness to the younger student. This disturbed the older student a lot. And one day he decided to ask the scholar the reason behind his fondness for the younger student. But the scholar did not reply to the student's question but insisted both of them to go to the village and perform the following task. He asked them to go into the village and educate the villagers there and return after a month. The, old, the older one came across a group of sculptors. They were sculpting a statue and he told them, I have come here to educate you. Please listen to what I have to say. And the busy sculptor said, We are very, very busy in our sculpture and we do not have any time to receive any form of education from you. And the sculptors, they continued doing their job. He walked further and he came to a group of porters. And again he said to the same thing to the porters, I have come here to educate you. Please listen to my instructions. And, and again the busy porters said, Well, we do not have any time to receive any instruction from you. We are busy making pots so we cannot listen to your instructions. He was disappointed and he left that village and he went to another part of the village where some carpenters had gathered there and they were working with some tools and again he asked the busy carpenters can you listen to me? I have come here to share my knowledge with you. And again the busy carpenter said, Well, we have to convert all this wood into furniture and we do not have any time for you not to listen to your instructions. Totally disappointed, the older student left the village and went back to the scholar and told the scholar, I was unable to educate these people because I met a group of sculptors. They were busy sculpting. I met a group of porters. They were busy with the poetry work and I met a group of carpenters and they were also very busy with their carpentry work. And the Guru said, let us wait for the younger student also to return. They waited, they waited 
and as per the instructions of the scholar, go out to the village and return after a month. And the young scholar returned exactly after a month. He came to the scholar and said, Well, scholar, I was unable to teach the villagers anything. I met a group of sculptors. They were busy sculpting. And they were too busy. So I sat with the sculptors and I helped them to sculpt and in turn I learned sculpting. He further added, I met a group of porters. I wanted to share my knowledge with them, but since they were very busy, I also joined them in making pots and I also mastered the skill of pottery. Again, I came to a group of carpenters and they were also very busy. I joined them and I helped them and I also learned another skill of carpentry. So I'm, I was unable to teach anything to them but I was able to master three skills, sculpting, poetry, and carpentry. And now the scholar said, this answers to your question on why I am very fond of the younger student. And the scholar said, to be a good teacher, teaching alone will not suffice. Having knowledge alone will not suffice. But a good teacher is also a good learner. My dear listeners, those who are hearing me, This does not include only teachers, it can also include parents. A good teacher should be a good learner. A good parent should also be a good learner. They need to learn with their children. Thank you for lending me your ears. Till we meet again, stay safe and bye-bye. Thank you.